Welcome to the ninth video on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at the font weight property in CSS. And that allows you to control the thickness of your fonts. So if you want lighter fonts, you can use the lighter parameter. Or if you want bolder fonts, you can use the bold parameter. And the property can make your fonts look more dynamic. Now I'm using the code that we used from the last video, in the eighth video. And I made four different copies of it. So we'll make all the fonts on this HTML page lighter. This one will be normal, this one will be bold, and this one will be bolder. And those are the four parameters, lighter, normal, bold, and bolder. So let's start out with lighter. And what I did was I added the parameter right here. So it's font hyphen weight, and then you just put in lighter. Now if we wanted it to be normal, we would put normal here, bold, and the final one, which is bolder. Now I've added normal, obviously, to this one, bold to this one, and bolder to this one. So we don't need to look at those. But what I wanted to be able to do is open each one of these HTML pages at the same time so you could see the difference in weight. Now we're going to add this to the body selector and that rule will apply to our entire HTML body element. So all the fonts in here will be affected. And again, that's through inheritance, something we've been talking about throughout the series. So let's go ahead and close that. And then I'll just show you this really quickly. You can see here we've got the normal parameter. And in this one we've got bold and in this one we've got bolder there we go so let's go ahead and open up lighter and now I'm going to minimize this because I actually want to flip through these and show you the difference and then we'll open up normal and I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and we'll open up bold and I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and then bolder and now I'm going to flip through these because it's easier to see the difference so if we open up light and so that's the lightest font weight and then now take a look at the difference here. You can see how it got a little bit more bolder with the normal weight. And if we go to the bold font weight, the contrast gets even greater. And then this is bolder. Okay, so that's how that works with the font weight property.